welcome to the third episode of our video aimed at beginners who consider switching to Linux. This time around, we discuss customization options in Windows, Linux Mint, and Zorin OS. And then we will talk about some tools those operating systems offer out of the box. Stay tuned. Linux Mint offers many options to make the system your own. First of all, the operating system is preloaded with custom themes, offering different accent colors. You can change window borders, icons, controls, cursors and a desktop theme. If you find all of these not enough, there's even more. Linux Mint gives a user direct access to its Cinnamon Spices service, where you can get more desktop themes, for free, of course. What's more, getting third-party themes and icons and installing them is not rocket science, and you can easily find instructions online on where to get them and how to install them. Additionally, with Linux Mint, you get dozens of high-quality wallpapers pre-installed, so there's really no need to waste your time browsing the internet for desktop backgrounds. Zorin OS 16 is a champion of out-of-the-box customization. Its version, Zorin OS 16 Core, which is totally free, offers four different desktop layouts with more or less different workflows, so a user can easily adapt the system to her or his needs. You can also change the desktop theme and or accent color. In the interface section, you can enable the so-called jelly mode and get your wobbly windows. Or you can add or remove the default icons on the desktop. If you buy a Pro version, you can get even more desktop layouts out of the box. Of course, Zorin OS 2 supports the use of third-party themes and icons. We have been frequently told by new Linux users that sometimes certain small cricks put them off and force them to go back to their previous operating system. Managing USB devices is an example. In Windows, users know that they can eject a USB device with the help of an applet in the system tray area. Some advanced users are aware of the fact that they can open the file manager window and by right-clicking on a USB device they can not only format the drive but also eject it. And this is another behavior that has been there in Windows for a long time. On the other hand, in many Linux distributions, there is no system tray button for ejecting USBs and beginner users can get confused sometimes about such a trivial task. Both Linux Mint and Zorin OS make sure that you meet familiarity there. You can not only eject a USB within their respective file managers, but also you can look at the familiar places to remove a USB device that you attached to your computer. Not only that, Linux Mint brings in out-of-the-box tools for USB writing and formatting. That's all for this time. In the next episode, we'll talk about security and system maintenance in these three operating systems. And we will give you our final thoughts on the matter. So, make sure you have subscribed to our channel, so that you don't miss all of these important issues. Thanks for watching the video. That's all for today. We will see you guys in the next video. Bye.